Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's Your Game Plan? Today, I'm gonna give you a quick guide on how to start a coffee shop business. If you didn't know, coffee can be very, very profitable. And when you can find a good location and serve high quality drinks, you can consistently rake in the cash. So, if you wanna help people boost their energy levels each and every single morning and make some money doing it, here's how to get started. So before you begin, it's helpful to find the right location for your new shop. A good place to start is to Google commercial properties for lease near me or retail space for lease near your zip code. This will bring up tons of websites who have a database of places for you that you can use to actually find a new spot for your coffee business. Don't forget to compare the quality and the prices on everything. Also, be prepared to have the money ready for your location's rent or your lease, your staff, and everything else that you're gonna to need to buy for this business. If you have no idea how a coffee shop business operates, or maybe you're a first time business owner, I recommend downloading a business plan from bplans.com. Their plans outline exactly how this business is supposed to work and what you should expect. When starting a business like this, you're gonna need coffee supplies to do your job, right? And if you plan on growing this business, finding a supplier who you can buy in bulk from is gonna be crucial. You'll get all of your supplies for much, much less, which means more profits for you. Head on over to Google and type in these words, wholesale coffee shop supplies. And as you can see, the listings are gonna update. And from here, you'll be able to find a company to buy in bulk from. You can also buy a lot of your supplies and even equipment from Amazon Business. Just make sure you choose a vendor who supplies quality at a good price. You need to make a list of equipment that you'll need, which should include coffee grinders, milk, tea, water, ovens, toasters, should you sell food, of course, and you'll also need coffee. Now, when you've got all that sorted, it's time to officially register the business. You won't be able to buy wholesale coffee supplies until you complete this step. You're gonna need to register and apply for a federal EIN number and form a corporation or an LLC. Depending on what state you're in, you'll also likely need a retail merchant certificate or a reseller certificate as well. This allows you to buy products tax free. I recommend using mycorporation.com as they do have a variety of packages to choose from, but their most basic package will get you started right away. After you've chosen a name and you've officially registered your coffee business, you can now open a business bank account. And it's pretty easy to open, but they won't get you set up without having that legal incorporation paperwork and the EIN number that I just spoke about. You can work with a local bank that you're already using or just choose a new one. Branding is one of the most important parts in creating a coffee shop business because it's your brand's identity that's gonna leave a big impression on your clients. I recommend using 99designs because the process is always quick and simple and you actually get what you want. For marketing materials, I really like to use Envato because they literally have tons of graphics for each and every single kind of business on demand. A coffee shop is usually gonna to need to start with a logo, business cards, and some social media graphics. 99designs actually has what they call the brand identity pack that'll help you get started right away. So the next step is to buy web hosting. Your coffee business needs to have a presence online. Also, it's a good place to put your menu. I always recommend choosing Bluehost because they are the most reliable for any kind of startup and business website. With their packages, you also get a free domain, a free SSL, and access to 24 seven tech support. So you really can't beat it. Once you pay for a plan with Bluehost, you'll get all of your login credentials and you'll wanna save that information and deliver it to the web designer in the next step. If you don't already know about Fiverr, it's a company that sells affordable web development and marketing services that get done really, really quick. All you need to do is type in what you want in their search bar and it will reveal tons of people 
who are willing to help you get your website set up in less than three days. Once you choose the person you wanna work with, go ahead and give them the Bluehost details and communicate your vision and your plans for the website. While they're working on your new website, you'll need to activate a merchant account for your customers to pay you through. Many businesses use PayPal, Square, or Stripe. I personally like Square because they make it super easy for me to accept payments in store, online, via email, on my website, or even over the phone. An account with Square is free, but since you're planning to open a coffee shop, I would highly recommend you also purchase a few of their POS registers too. Okay, so now that you're all set up, how will you actually make money? Here's what you need to know in order to take a check to the bank. Since you're a coffee shop business, you can choose from a variety of things to sell. The most popular items are coffee, specialty teas, cakes, cookies, muffins, wraps, oatmeal, croissants, salads, donuts, and you can also sell merchandise like cups and mugs. Now, I know what you're probably wondering, what's the price tag on this baby? Startup costs for this kind of business are usually from around $8,000 to $10,000 on average, but can honestly go up to about $50,000. So just be prepared to drop the big bucks. Have a look at the bottom of this video, and if you can use any of these products or services, please feel free to make a purchase. Every single sale helps support this channel and for me to keep bringing you the money-making tips. I'm also giving away my new marketing strategy book series for free. If you want it, just go to my website, enter your email address, and I'll send it to you right away. If you like this video or you know someone who needs to see this today, tag a friend, hit like, or give it a share. And until next time, guys, take care.